Thomas Green hired, uh, well, we think hired by the Canucks, likely expected uh, to be announced on Wednesday. Ed, is this the guy? I mean, everyone I'm seeing says they just hired an AHL coach three years ago who had no NHL head coaching experience. Here's another guy. Is this the right guy? Well, I think so. And I think for the first time, the hire matches up to the story the Canucks are trying to tell. Um, Willie was hired to try and prolong that, you know, that playoff envelope that they thought still existed, was, which was clearly an illusion. Uh, now they've got a young guy, a fresh face to grow with this newly imagined team. So I think on that basis, he's the guy. We'll know three years from now if he's the right hire, but right here, right now, I think today he's the right certainly, hire. Certainly familiar with a lot of the players sure. from in-house as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. No, and that's right. And I think that comfort factor with both Trevor Linden and Jim Benning, after having worked in the organization, for four years, had some success in Utica, not a great deal of success, took him to the uh, Calder Cup Finals the one year, but the familiarity with the organization, I think what it is the Canucks are trying to do here as they, uh, ha as they rebuild the organization, uh, he's the guy. If there's one challenge thinking about it, stepping up to the NHL mm -hmm. as a coach, whether it be in general or for Green, is there something that you're going to be watching to see how he gets going next fall? Yeah, there's going to be a couple of things. I think the one thing that leaps off the page for me is what he can do with special teams. I think special teams to me has always been a reflection of the coach. And the Canucks special teams for two years have been absolutely abysmal. So see if he can breathe some life into the power play. See if he can get some consistency uh, on the penalty kill. But ultimately where he'll be judged is how the young players develop under him. Uh, he's had a little taste of Sven Berchi in, in, in Utica, Jacob Markstrom. They seem to you know perform well under him, but, but now he's got to do it at the NHL level. I Just thinking of the, the, the lineup the Canucks might have next year, I mean, you could conceivably looking at a team uh, with Brock Besser, who's 20, with Jake Vertanen, who's 20, Ole Ulevi is still only 19, and if they get one of those first two picks, they probably start the season in the NHL. So he's going to have to hit the ground running, and he's also going to have to like mold these young players into NHLers. Alright, folks, lots more to come here at provincesports.com.